Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be announcing the last video's giveaway. If you missed out, I am so, so sorry. But the winner for that giveaway is, congratulations, make sure you message me and I will get that sent out right to you. They are some of my favorite products, so I hope you enjoy them. Now, before we get into the video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing strictly all Amazon products. I'm gonna be doing my left hand. I am so excited because it is from start to finish from prepping to acrylic and all the nail art from Amazon. I am super excited I was able to find really good products. The other good thing is that it gets to your doorstep very, very quickly. Not only that, they are inexpensive and really good quality, but on top of that, you can also find name brand products like Kiara Sky, Young Nails, and all that good stuff. So we are gonna be doing a little bit of a mistletoe kind of green inspired set for my Christmas nails. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into today's video, we are starting off by prepping my natural nails. I am using the McCart Stephanie Rechargeable E-File. This is my go-to whenever I need to do my own nails, especially if I'm working at home. It is a really good e-file. I haven't had any issues with it. It is extremely affordable and it is really good quality for the price as well. So definitely recommend this e-file. Now I am starting off with my e-file at a speed of 4,000 RPMs and I'm gonna be prepping my natural nail very, very lightly. I am using a mandrel bit and a sanding band. If you do purchase this e-file, it comes with a little pack of bits along with some sanding bands. I unfortunately did finish all the sanding bands so I'm just using one from profiles but you can absolutely find them on there as well again I'm using it at a speed of 4,000 rpms and I'm just very carefully going around the cuticle area and then very lightly going across the entire surface of the nail just making sure that I'm buffing off all the shine and gently pushing back the cuticle area as well Now I'm going around that cuticle area with my needle bit. This is my go-to favorite. I've been using it for a while on my channel. If you are an OG, you probably already know. But these are my absolute favorite when it comes to proper prep. If you are a beginner nail tech and you are struggling with your nails lifting, I definitely recommend purchasing these bits and go in on your cuticle area. So I'm using this right on the natural nail, right where the cuticle area is at. And as you can see, even though I already went in with my mandrel bit, this is just gonna really help clean up that area, get rid of any dead skin that you might have missed. And this is gonna help with the acrylic adhesion, so definitely recommend do not skip this step. Now I'm going in with my cuticle ball bit. This one comes with the needle bit as well. And this thing right here saves my life. I have been absolutely terrified of cutting and nipping off cuticle, so this replaces that form of trimming. So all it basically does is gently buffs off that skin. So if you do have a little bit of tougher skin that you're trying to remove, just up your e-file speed a little bit. I personally use mine at a speed of 5,000 RPMs and it works perfect. Of course, always make sure you are using very light pressure around this area. You do not want to cause any type of heat spike or anything like that. So I'm just going gently and buffing off that skin. Now for these tips, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to say the company's name, but I was really excited to receive and try these. They are no C-curve, extra, extra long square tips. You guys know I like my square shape and the fact that they aren't C-curved had me very, very intrigued. So I'm here to tell you they are amazing. So far, I absolutely love them. So I'm just taking my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file. For those of you already know, I do purchase them off of Amazon as well. So I was super excited to be able to use these in my video for today. I'm just taking some nail tip cutters and trimming them very, very lightly. You guys know I like my long, long nails. Now 
Now I'm taking my ephah once again with my sanding band and I'm just quickly blending the tip to my natural nail very very lightly it's not absolutely necessary and I do not do this all the time I just felt like doing that for today's video Now I'm taking my lint free wipes and a little bit of young nail swipe if you do not have young nails and don't want to purchase it you can always use alcohol but I personally prefer the swipe over alcohol so now I'm taking protein bond from young nails and I'm just going to quickly apply that onto my natural nail this is a primer and absolutely amazing I love that young nails does have their products on Amazon since it gets here super super fast and we all know that their products are absolutely professional and really good quality now I got this pack of acrylic brushes I thought they were super super cute and they were super affordable for this many brushes so I'm just going to quickly open one and show you the one I'm going to be using. It is the biggest one, I believe, and it goes down in size. So now I'm just quickly prepping my brush and I just go ahead and squeeze it and get all the gunk out. I think it comes with a little bit of glue on it. So this is basically how I prep all of my nail brushes. And then you want to submerge into your monomer as many times as you want just to get it nice and prepped. Now for our monomer, as you can see, we're going to be using the Young Nails monomer. This is my OG monomer. Definitely recommend it. It's very low odor in comparison, of course, to tons of different monomers. So this one is one of my favorites as well. Now I'm just using my brush to guide that into my dappin' dish. This is a good little trick if you guys struggle with pouring it in there, especially if they don't have that nice and convenient little squirty bottle. Definitely use that method. Now I'm going to be using the Savvy Land Acrylics. I looked all over Amazon and I loved that it came with a huge variety of colors. They are extremely small jars. I believe they're like a fourth of an ounce, but you get tons of different color options and I figured I would go ahead and test it out for you guys. Now I'm also going to be using these lovely glitters. I did get them Christmas themed since we are doing Christmas nails, but they have tons of different options as well. These come with a ton of different Christmas shapes and little designs for you to use. So I'm going to quickly submerge my brush, grab a small bead of that acrylic, and I'm not going to lie, I was definitely impressed. I went in with a blank mind and I honestly did not expect amazing things, especially because it is a brand that I'm not familiar at all with, but... I'm really excited to add these to my collection. They are actually really good quality. Now this pretty nude is called Apricot Yellow and I feel like it's the perfect nude. It's super pretty and I feel like it would go really, really well with tons of different skin tones. So I'm gonna speak a little bit about the formula and what I felt whenever I was working with this product. So it is definitely a little bit on the drier side, but do not let that fool you. As soon as I place it on the nail, you can kind of see that it's a little bit chalky. But once I start working with it, add a little bit more monomer, it just melts right in. And I was extremely shocked that the formula was this good because the powder is super affordable to buy. So I definitely really like it. I did mess around with a few of the other colors. And like I said, they are pretty good to work with. So if you are a beginner and you just kind of want to mess around with colored acrylics, definitely purchase these. You will not regret it. I'm going to be taking some of those little snowflakes. And as I've mentioned before in my videos, go ahead and pinch it. It kind of helps it curve so that it fits nicely on the nail without any of the edges sticking out as much as they usually would. Then I just take the back of my brush and kind of press it into the wet acrylic. Now I'm going to be layering on a little bit more of those snowflakes. It was kind of funny because this one was actually cut in half. It came like that in the kit and I just went ahead and put it on the side of the nail. I didn't even have to trim it so that was nice and convenient. Now I'm taking this really pretty gold and silver glitter mix. It is mixed with acrylic. It's also from that acrylic kit that I got. This one is called Linen Color and I feel like it is absolutely beautiful. I'm also going to be using it on my index finger and you'll be able to really see the glitter pop. 
So I'm just taking a little bit more of that nude and I'm going to be blending that into the existing acrylic. The reason why I did the center of the nail first was because that's typically where I start and I wanted it to be wet whenever I put the glitter on there. So I just left the cuticle area for the end so I didn't have to worry about the acrylic drying on me before I pressed in that glitter. Now you're gonna see me when applying the acrylic on this finger specifically. I'm kind of showing you guys the exact motion. I wanted to include all of this footage so you guys can actually see how I'm working with the product. So I go ahead and grab the bead, place it on the nail, and then I quickly start working it down. But I'm also wiping my brush and grabbing a little bit more monomer so that it gives me enough time and that the consistency is nice and blendable. And the reason why I'm also really wiping my brush is the quality of the brush isn't the greatest. And you guys know that I like to be super transparent with you guys when it comes to reviewing any type of product, no matter whose product it is or what it is. And I'm here to tell you the quality is not the best. Immediately after using it on my ring finger, I noticed that the bristles were a little bit on the dry side. So it kind of threw me off, especially because I've never had that happen. But I do remember when I first started doing nails and I was working with brushes that weren't the greatest, that is the exact reaction that I got from the bristles. So I noticed that there was a little bit of acrylic being left behind on the brush. And that is also a sign that your brush isn't the best quality. Of course, try to get your liquid to powder ratio down right and you will not get any acrylic left behind. But when it comes to the quality of a brush, if it's not there, then unfortunately it's gonna happen no matter how good of a liquid to powder ratio you have. So I am still working with it. It's not that big of a deal. I just have to continuously work with a wet bead and wipe it constantly on my napkin. So other than that, I feel like it worked great. I was able to use it throughout the entire set. It just took a little bit more of kind of messing with the brush to get it to my liking. So I am using tons of beads for this nail. Not only is it really long, but the brush is also really small. So you're gonna see me put about six beads on there, maybe more. And then we're gonna be encapsulating this so I'm not making it super thick also. But I'm just doing my normal acrylic application, working my way from the tip up to the cuticle area. And I am wiping the sides, making sure that the shape doesn't get super wide. And then I'm just blending all that acrylic nicely into each other as best as possible. Now for the index finger, I'm gonna be using that linen color glitter. I absolutely love it. It's super pretty, super sparkly. So definitely love this one and I'm glad that I chose it for this set. So a little bit about the glitter and acrylic ratio. It is honestly perfection. A lot of the time you will purchase pre-mixed glitter with acrylic and the ratio will be a little bit off, but honestly, this one is super opaque. There is not any areas where the glitter is see-through, so it's nice and opaque when it comes to the amount of glitter that is in the clear acrylic. And it just blends nicely. There's not any areas where I feel like it's super glittery to where the acrylic is non-existent. I've had that happen before too. So I am very impressed with this as well. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the entire nail. Now I went ahead and applied the nude color on to the thumb and the pinky as well. Now we're going to be encapsulating these nails. For that, I'm actually using the Clear Acrylic from Young Nails. That is also one of my OG products. I started off using Young Nails and they will forever have a special place in my heart. Their Clear Acrylic is extremely clear. So if you're looking for a really, really clear acrylic, that is also a really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate these nails as I usually do. Again, I'm gonna make sure that I'm cleaning my brush so that acrylic doesn't get stuck in it. And I'm just going in around that cuticle area, gently pushing it up and working the product down. Of course, the consistency of this is immaculate as per all of the acrylics from Young Nails. Now, whenever we are encapsulating chunky glitters like this, I always, always recommend use a wet bead of clear acrylic. Really, really press that into that glitter. Make sure you are really pressing that into all the creases and crevices. You do not want to have any little air bubbles or anything like that. So I'm just really pressing that into it and then just blending it down towards the tip. And then you can go in with your bulk product, add the thickness that you want, the apex and all of that good stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to encapsulate these nails since I'm done really layering that onto that glitter. Now for our finished filing, I am actually using the five in one bit from Amazon. I will of course leave that linked as well, but you guys, I was threatened by the cut of it and it works really, really good. So if you guys are wanting something that is really good quality and very affordable, I will leave that linked for you guys, but it is honestly really amazing quality. So I'm using that at the speed of about 10,000 RPMs on my McCart e-file. And I'm just going very carefully around that cuticle area and then going all on top of the surface of the nail with very small motions. And then I kind of do long ones in between as well. I wanna make sure that I'm stabilizing my hand with my pinky or something so that it doesn't wiggle all over the place and just stabilize it nicely to where I have better control of it. So again, around that cuticle area, just making sure that the acrylic is nice and flush to my natural nail, and then very quickly going over top of the surface.
Now for our hand filing, you guys know I couldn't leave out my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick files. If you did not already know, I actually purchased these off of Amazon. They get here super quick and you have different options when it comes to the amount that you want to purchase. So I definitely hands down recommend these. If you're gonna get any hand file off of Amazon, purchase these, you will not regret it. So I'm just going on the sides of the nails, making sure that the shape is nice and straight. And then I'm just very quickly filing the tip as well to square it off nicely. And I'm just gonna finish that on all of the nails, going down the sides and then squaring off that tip. Now for our sponge buffer, I'm taking these lovely and colorful sponge buffers that I found on Amazon and they are super vibrant and colorful, which I love. They remind me a lot of the grit from the Kiara Sky ones, except they're of course longer and you get all these really pretty colors. So I'm just going in and buffing the surface of the nail, making sure that there are no scratches or ridges at this point. We wanna prep our surface nicely for our nail art application. Now quickly taking a lint-free wipe and some Young Nail Swipe, I'm going to clean that surface once again, really getting into that cuticle area to make sure that I get all that dust out. Now, I'm sure you guys could have guessed that I could not leave any gel paints out. So I went ahead and purchased this. Honestly, I didn't even have an idea that it was the same brand as the acrylics that I purchased, but that was actually a nice surprise. Since I already knew the acrylic was good, I was like, you know what? My expectations for this gel paint is all the way up top. And I was quickly slightly disappointed at the fact that the colors did not match the tops, which honestly isn't that serious but I'm huge on knowing what color I'm gonna get whenever I see the packaging. So this green said it was like an actual true green and it does have a little bit of blue hues to it so it's not super, super green, but I'm quickly taking some black and deepening up that green shade and I honestly really like how it turned out. The green is really, really pretty. As far as the consistency, it is a 10 out of 10. Definitely like the consistency. It is perfect, I feel like, for nail art. And the opaqueness is a little bit on the sheer side, but it's definitely more on the opaque side. So if you just add a little bit more product, it's no biggie, it covers perfectly. And look at how pretty I mix this green. I feel like it is perfect. So I am just gonna go ahead and start drawing lines. I figured I would do something pretty simple. Christmas vibe, we're gonna be doing like a candy cane kind of inspired design. I had no idea what I was doing on my nails, so I just came up with this super last minute. It is a little bit on the basic side, but I feel like I'm covering all of the topics when it comes to testing out products. So now I'm going to be mixing a green color as well because they did not have a perfect green color for my leaves that I wanted to do. So I'm just taking two of the green acrylics that came with that kit, mixing a little bit of black in there. To do so, I like to take the back end of my brush and really just scrape at the jar, making sure that I'm kind of minimizing any pigment kind of left behind and really, really getting it nice and blended. But if you can tell from this angle, there is a little bit of splotchiness from that black and I wasn't all that happy about it, but it worked, honestly speaking, for a product that is the cost that it is. Honestly, it's not bad. So I just went ahead and added a little bit more of that green, 
just to kind of dilute the black pigment that you can see. And again, I'm scratching at that bottom of the jar just to make sure that it's super blended, at least as best as I can get it. Now I'm taking the smallest brush that came with that brush kit and I'm going to quickly pick up a small bead of acrylic and we are going to be doing little leaves. I figured I would do a little mistletoe. I haven't done that and I figured it would be perfect. Green mixed very well with the gel paint that I also mixed. So I'm pretty excited that I was able to match them nicely. So I'm just taking the tip of my brush and with the belly, I am going to be flattening out that center, bringing out the middle into a point. And then I started adding texture to it, but I was like, you know what, let me make my life a little bit easier. So I'm taking a cuticle pusher and just making indentations for the leaf. And honestly, this is way easier. You get a more crisp kind of design. So if you are wanting to get that type of texture, go ahead and use your cuticle pusher. It is probably the best tool to use for that. So now I'm gonna continue to do another little leaf. Same concept, a small bead. We're gonna drag out the center into a point. And then I'll kind of clean it up a little bit if I need to. And then we're gonna be letting it dry just a little bit. And then once it starts drying, you wanna take your cuticle pusher and do the little texture once again. And I do one big line right down the middle and then tons of tiny ones down the sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for the last little leaf. I'm taking some of the red acrylic and I'm basically taking a very, very small amount onto my brush and then I let it dry a little bit. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit on my brush and then I place it where I want it to go and it'll basically self level into the perfect little circle which is exactly what you want. Now for this next portion of the video, I do wanna quickly apologize that the quality, I don't know what the heck happened to my camera but it was not happy with me. It did show a little bit of blurriness, but I still left the footage so you guys can kind of see what, it, what I'm doing. And basically I'm just taking my brush on glue, applying some green red crystals, and I'm also adding some caviar beads in there. Again, I apologize for the crappy quality, but I hope you guys still kind of appreciate the effort that I put into it. Now I also wanna apologize for not recording me top coating my nails. I completely forgot that I was recording, so. I went ahead and top coated these nails using the Kiara Sky Matte and Shiny Top Coat. I applied that onto my nails as it is also available on Amazon, which is great, honestly. It is a really good top coat, so definitely recommend that if you want some from Amazon. Now before we end today's video, go ahead and drop a comment if you guys want me to review more products. Let me know what you guys think about today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.